Hey guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to show you a very basic tutorial just to give a simple understanding of how layers work in paint.net. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have the layers tab open. If you don't see this, come up to the top right and where you see these blue boxes, make sure you click on that and the layers tab will appear. So essentially a layer is a workplace. So at the moment we only have the background. So for example, if we get the paintbrush and we make it blue and we just draw a circle, there is now a blue circle on the layer, which is called background. If we come down to the bottom of the tab, there is a plus. We can click here to add a new layer and this is called layer two. We have it selected, which can be seen by this blue bar around layer two. And now if we draw anything in layer two, it will appear above background because it's above the layer. So for example, if we get a red color and we draw, it will go over the top of the blue color. However, this is a new layer. So what you can do is if we untick this box, it will disappear and we can just see the blue circle again. You can also drag the layer underneath if you'd prefer for the other layer to appear above that one. And then there's a few more options here, like delete layer just at the bottom, which will just remove it. Duplicate layer, if you want two of the same layer, so we can press duplicate. Now we have two workplaces of the background. And then you can merge layers, which combines the layers together. So if we press merge, these layers will both become one. So if we had the red square there, it would merge down and we'd have the red square and the blue circle as one layer. So there you go guys, super simple. This is just to give more of an understanding of the concept of layers and I hope it was helpful. I'll catch you again very soon.